Hey gamers, so as my first video back after the moving house and the new year I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on something that seems to be drawing a lot of questions. Um, probably my most popular video that I've ever produced <laughs> that wasn't just a regurgitated trailer um, and that is the amiibo cards for the Switch. These little things if you remember them. You know, with the uh, fan arty sort of designs on them. And a lot of people have asked, do they still work? Short answer should be yes, because Amiibo is a, a hardware thing that I don't think without re-releasing every single Amiibo to date, Nintendo will be able to bypass in some sort of patch. Um, but we're going to take a proper look just to be safe. So just so you're all aware, I am dating this video. It is the 5th of January, 3 p.m. UK time as I'm recording this, and I'm gonna jump straight on and straight into Breath of the Wild from here. Let's have a look. So the first card we're gonna start with is the one that is quite clearly the Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. Give it a tap. Well, that one clearly works, and as you can see, maximum hearts, so somebody played Twilight Princess right the way through. So the next one we've got is the 8-bit link. So let's drop this one, see if we get any special items from this one. Can you tell I forgot the controls because it's that long since I played this? <laughs> So some apples, some rupees, some arrows, fairly standard stuff, and in the chest we've got... Uh, fire arrows. Okay, never mind. Um, now normally I could save and quit and restart, but too much faff. So the next one we're going for is an amiibo that clearly looks like Link on Epona. So we get lots of shrooms for that one. And do we get anything special in the chest? A royal broadsword, which I can't carry anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, next one is Link with a Shield. I'm not sure which game this one's from. So if we get anything special from this, it'll be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. There's some acorns, some vault fruit apples. And another broadsword. And the inventory's still full. So next we've got one that clearly is supposed to be Wind Waker Link. Sort of given away by all the fish that drop with the chest as well. Fire arrows! Okay, we're not having much luck here. So I've got two more I'm going to try. So the next one is another Link with a shield. Looking at it, I think it's supposed to be Ocarina of Time. Not really 100% on that though. So we bust open the boxes that drop, we've got some fruit, we've got some cash. Ooh, purple ruby, nice. And a fire arrow! So this enjoys giving us arrows. Right, last try, because there's a storm coming. Not sure which link this one is either. Oh, is that a stroke of luck? And we've got a tunic of twilight. Excellent. Okay. So that kind of proves that the uh, the amiibos in 2020, as we are now, they still work, uh, and you can still get the special items from them. So yeah, uh, the previous video was testing them out in the first place, which is, I believe, a couple of years old now, um, just over. And now we've seen that they are still working. Now there's not going to be any links in the description to purchase any of these because of the uh, questionable legal side of things, I guess. Let's face it, you guys are clever enough to use Google to find this sort of thing. You don't really need my help for that. <laughs> anyway, gang, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for listening to me waffling on. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Now the plan is I'm going to start streaming Pokemon Shield, because I got that for Christmas, at some point. Now I'm not sure at the minute whether I'm going to be streaming that on Facebook or the usual Twitch Mixer combi. Uh, decision yet to be made. 
Uh, and also I might be doing some Monster Hunter streams at some point because I have been playing a lot of Iceborne <laughs> while I've been off. Anyway, thanks for tuning in folks. It's a pleasure as always and I'll see you all next time.